The winter update is here. Forge is here. And it's not perfect. The game still needs some work, but it's a step in the right direction, and I'm pretty happy about it. Also, they didn't nerf the movement yet. Why? I have no idea. But thank you, Joe Staten. Thank you. Today, we're doing a full map movement breakdown on the new map, Argyle. I dare you to take a shot every time I say the word slide in this video. Just kidding. Please don't do that. You will not survive, soldier. We're covering quite a few movement secrets in this one. So if you guys like the content, you want to see more of it, make sure to like and sub. Join the way. Let's jump in. Okay, so Argyle. I have not played this map too much just yet. I played one game of CTF and Ranked. I played a couple custom games on here. It's an okay map so far. I hope it grows on me. It's just a big map for 4v4. Like, as you can see, we come out here, we got wide open sight line. You can see all the way to the opposite base here. The bottom mid is just no man's land, and good luck running flags through it. Like, in the CTF game I played, it took the whole game to just get one flag because we're trying to run it bottom mid, which is good luck, right? You're just going to get crossed up. You can take a perimeter. It takes longer. And there are ways that I think you can optimize that flag run to get it through faster, but you're going to need some coordination for this one, I think, with all the open space there is to just cross and all the utility on the map there is to get kills with. Like, having two snipes is cool, but there's just too much on this map. There's two grapples. There's a carbine. There's a BR. There's a commando downstairs. There's another commando on this wall. There's a, one on the opposite side. Two shotguns on the map and then two fusion coils, which is... Two, like fusion coils and ranked is is trolling. I don't know why that's there. You got disruptor, a repulsor, and a camo. So it's just a lot of utility. A little too much, I think. Um, apart from that, there's some good aspects of this map as well, though. So we're just gonna run through it. I'm gonna share all the little things that I've noticed movement-wise. Some stuff that you can do to uh, you know improve your own gameplay. A lot of slides we're gonna be doing on this map. Uh, some other little exploits and inconsistencies I think might need to be patched out and changed in the near future, but we'll just cover it all and everything I see. Okay, so the whole perimeter of this map is basically a curb slide height ledge. You just stand on one of these shoulders, sprint slide off it with good timing. Depending on the timing, you can get a pretty decent boost, honestly, from one side of this area to the other. Not like you'd be doing that in game and careful not to fall off the map as well, but just as an opening strat or just to move faster in any situation you want to, you can use that ledge to your advantage. The ledge is also step jump height push into the wall and jump though i guess it's kind of inconsistent so maybe not super useful to know but you, you never know when step jumping can be useful like this one as well you can like hold crouch and step jump up here like who knows you can also set you up for a quick curb slide and then like i said the whole perimeter is all the same type of ledge so you just stand on it sprint slide off it you can also sprint jump hold crouch and get a little bit of a boost as you immediately slide out the br here just a quick efficient way to get through here you got a lift as well the lift sends you up to just complete open space, so good luck staying up here long. They've got a little block here, I think on purpose, to stop you from just falling back. And as far as I can tell, you can't go back down the lift. Once you've gone up it, you're kind of stuck. What you can do, and I personally think this is kind of game... Oh. What the heck? Whoa, wait. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Can I do that again? That's never happened. What I meant to show was a way to stay in the lift and continuously clamber, basically. If you hold crouch and push forward on the stick as you fall, it'll basically force you into the wall, or you can hug the wall as you lift up here, which gives you a chance to clamber instead of just being thrown into the ceiling. And every time I clamber, if I clamber cancel by pulling back on the left stick the moment the clamber animation starts, then I can throw myself back down without revealing my head, basically. So I can basically cheese my life in the lift, get my shields back, and spend a good chunk of the game just being annoying up here. I guess, right? It's kind of broken. I don't know if you want to try that. You can also do this in the back of the base and sit up here. You can't do much if you're back here. I'm not sure if they would decide to patch this because it doesn't really have much of an effect on the game itself. But obviously, it's kind of a silly spot you can get into with a grapple. Now, because snap sliding has thankfully not been patched yet, and hopefully it doesn't get patched, I figure we might as well talk about it and where you can apply it. You can give this a shot yourself if you think it's worth the time and effort, but this is a nice, fast way to get an opening stride in. You can sprint to the left side here, jump. I line up my jump with about the line on the wall, and then try to hit the wall as well. I turn both my sticks. My left stick turns to about 10 o'clock. 
My right stick just full pegs to the left here to turn me. And then shortly after I hit the staircase, and basically the moment that my turn points the direction I want to go is the moment that I hit crouch to slide, which is kind of similar to curb slide timing. And as you can see, this is difficult. You know, I'm doing this multiple times and I'm not getting the launch that I want. But for an opening strat, you might as well just try it and see if you get that extra boost. If you do it perfectly, you can go up perfectly, but nicely, let's say, you can go from one snap slide to another on the staircase. If you want to get the sniper, you can curb slide your way there as well. I recommend you line up these curb slides on the top corner of this shoulder here. What you're trying to do is get as much height as you can between the curb slide ledge and the floor. The more height that you have, the bigger that the boost you can get, basically. So if you can time the, the curb slide right when the, the staircase starts going down, you can basically create a higher ledge for yourself. And you can apply this everywhere on the map, basically, like here as well. Honestly, a good spot to line it up to if you want to just go right through the door. And I'm just creating like a, a slightly higher ledge for myself by carefully timing that slide from like a higher point when it starts to dip down on the ramp. So just little tricks that you can use to move more quickly in the base. You've also got this ledge right here that is also curb slide height. Not quite sure if it would ever make sense to slide and like fly off these directions, right? Because this is, this is super open and vulnerable. So if you're setting this up, you got to be quick to execute this if you want to get out this direction. If you do have time, though, one good way to slide off would be to just hug the corner and slide this way. Just time a curb slide and go straight out the shotgun. You can do that on the other side as well. Same process. You just sprint, hug the wall, time your crouch to slide. You can connect it into a bit of a snap slide, too, if you want. We can talk about that a little more. In the base, though, that's about everything, honestly. Uh, there's these weapon racks, which honestly I think is a missed opportunity you can't stand on these you can stand on some of these and not all of them this one you just straight up can't stand on same with that one it would be nice if you could because they are curb slide height so you'd be able to launch off it this is of course as well this you can stand on but it's glitched like if you try to it it throws you off that's a problem i personally think that they should all just be accessible i, I like just give them collision you know instead of trying to block them and doing sort of like an odd job of it because we'll we'll see in a little bit, there are others that are, like, sort of accessible and some that are fully accessible. Just a few other things to consider in this area before we move on. Of course, there's that window down here. You can't obviously jump from, as far as I can tell, you can't jump from here to the window. You can grapple there or grapple out of it if you want to. Of course, if you're here, you can jump to this spot. Not sure why you'd want to be up here. You could maybe, like, fall down and reclamber at the risk of your life and try to outplay somebody with high ground, because it is actually a pretty good spot to consider doing this. Not easy to do, though, in Halo Infinite. You can also jump to this ledge. I don't think you can crouch and skip it. Not quite. It would be nice if it was crouch jump height. What I would recommend doing is clambering the left edge of it, so at least if you clamber and you're in the animation, you've got wall cover to work with. The only thing about this area that is sort of game-breaking is this spot right up here. It works on both sides of the map. You just grapple in. It's super easy to get into. I don't think this was intended. Well, the spot in the back of the base is not a big deal. This one, I think, could potentially be game-breaking and probably does need to be patched because you just think of how easy it would be to get a free kill if you're sitting up here, right? You got to think of the balance behind this, and, uh, and this one just doesn't seem... It just seems cheesy. Speaking of cheesy spots, I think there's actually one more like on the wall in the corner. I hit it one time by accident. I, let's actually try. I think there's, yeah, there's something here. I just don't, yeah, okay, you can jump off. I don't know why you would do this, but there is, uh, oh, you're out of, you're actually not quite in the kill barrier either. But, oh, I lost, okay. Need a grapple to get back. Not worth it, right? But I guess, it, once again, cheesy spots. There's another. We'll get some more grapples just in case. Well, uh, what I'll do is uh, just a full perimeter of the map, and then I think we'll hit the center afterwards uh we'll start here this ledge on this wall is uh, actually very useful it's a very powerful curb slide you can hit off of it of course there's actually two ledges here you can crouch jump and land right in this and tuck yourself in there's three of them actually there's one right here and and right here speaking of, this actually seems kind of cheesy too speaking of, there's a lot of corners on this map to be honest that's one thing that i'll try to point out but there's there's just like little hide spots that you can 
take full advantage of, like all around the base, all around, just like little corners where you could be so annoying, right? Just like sitting back here or sitting like on the ledge here and then having the opportunity to curb slide out with a challenge. Like some somebody's going to abuse this in game. But this area specifically is great because you've got slide options in three different locations. You want to be pretty quick with your execution here. It's just a quick sprint slide. You get that timing and you'll boost out very far, especially because of the height of the ledge. It gives you a good boost. And you can create that same boost on an angle depending on you know how you want to challenge. You got a lot of flexibility. You could probably go curb slide into snap slide or something, maybe, right? Off the staircase here. Speaking of snap slides, here's a creative way to apply snap sliding to get a faster rotation in this section of the map. And it's something I don't see anyone do yet. Of course, snap sliding is still pretty niche, but this is a slide off into a snap slide, and I don't really have to snap to hit it. It's it's interesting. I slide off resprint and I turn in the air the direction that I want to go, like I turn with my right stick, and then it's really just kind of down to crouch timing slightly after I hit the ramp. You can tell tell that I wait for a second after I hit it to kind of I don't know it's it's like I'm it's like it's catching my momentum from the turn and I'm giving myself a second for I, I see it as like my feet shifting on the ramp and I'm giving myself a second to let the twist like level out and then I hit crutch I don't know if that if that makes any sense but it's really interesting tech and you can use it in so many different areas of different maps to get these faster rotations, specifically in streets, I'll say that one spot on the gen next to uh, or under the A stronghold, you can get a nice launch using this technique. And there's not really a snap to it. You just kind of slide off, resprint, turn, and then time your next slide. Literally, right as I say that, I recognize that you can do the same thing right here. Connect snap slides off a slide off of that ledge, right? So the same process. You just sit on this ledge, slide off. And you can technically slide around this whole section, right? Like, you know, we're, we're just grooving. I'm not shooting anything as I do this, though, right? Like, you got to consider the circumstances, whether or not it makes sense to move around. You got to know, you know, where your opponents are if you're going to fly like this and be ready for a gunfight. More than it makes sense to slide around. But this is a cool connection. You can curve slide off of this and connect that into a slide off this ramp. It's the same kind of process I... Turn my right stick in the air the direction I want to face, and then I kind of give myself a second for the momentum to get caught on the ramp and hold forward on the left stick the whole time. And with, with the right crouch timing, that momentum transfers. What's even better is if you stand on this, this one you can actually stand on, by the way, and the beauty of being able to stand on it means you can slide off it. The position of it is nice, too, because it gives you like a great angle to you know go for a challenge or to hit this ramp as well. It can be kind of tricky to hit consistent slides off such a small surface area like this. You got to have some precision to do it. My recommendation would be to split it into parts. Just land on it like this. Let the stick go to neutral. And then you want to sprint slide quickly. Just a one quick sprint input. Remember when you're inputting sprint here, you want to make sure your left stick comes forward before your button press, right? So you make sure that sprint actually happens. If you press the button too early before you peg that left stick forward, you might not sprint. And then if you connect off the gun, uh, the, the disruptor pad, whatever, you can get a better snap slide connection, I think. And you're doing it from a slightly safer location too, right? So you're, you're looking at some pretty cool potential, honestly. Depending on the circumstances, the angle that you want with these slides, you're getting some pretty sweet rotations. Just takes the practice, you know, practice time to know when and where to do it and to make sure you're ready for gunfights when you're doing this stuff as well. Let's just start zooming through a little bit of this now. You can stand on this wall, like on the inside of it, and sort of slide off it too. Not really worth your time, but you can. This uh, staircase, notice how there's like a little curb slide angle. I recommend hugging the wall and creating the fast slide for yourself using this area if you want that quick cut to the doorway. So just something to consider. You've got this spot here. These objects you can stand on. You can't stand on these ones, but you can stand on these ones. And technically, you can curb slide off them too. But because you're curb sliding up a ramp, it's going to kill your momentum. And if you want to use this for a rotation, it's not super effective and kind of risky, as you can see. Got a repulsor. What you can do, though, and this, this takes a lot of precision to line up, is you can land on one and then instantly sprint slide 
and hit a curb slide out of the air, basically, as you nick your feet on it. Now, this is some nerdy movement. But if you can get this consistent, it's kind of a sweet rotation. Like that. So you're kind of, you're falling on it, and the instant your feet nick it, you sprint slide. And because I'm falling from the air, it lets me hit this curb slide from, like, a higher point where I normally wouldn't be able to. If you do want to cross this gap out center without just going the traditional way, of course, you can do the wall lineup snap slide. That's probably the best way to get across from one side to the other is you're, you're jumping into the wall and snap sliding out up the ramp using that positioning for an extra burst of speed so you cross center. I know it looks ridiculous. It's all situational though, right? Like I'm not shooting while I do this. I could try. I can maybe get one shot on somebody, but it's like... If you want that fast rotation, just to skip this center map without being, you know, overly exposed, of course, maybe it makes more sense to just shoot your way across, though, and have full control of your aim. It's all situational. Let's jump back down here real quick. Didn't actually cover this section, but you're getting the idea. I think at this point, you got more slides uh, either up and down the stairs. You can line one up off the corner to go down the staircase or go up the staircase with a slide technically too. But it's because of the positioning, it's going to be an awkward one. You got a needler here. Fusion coil should not be there. You can jump on this needler. It feels like this one they're trying to block. And just considering the fact that the other side of the map is blocked tells me that they're trying to block this uh, weapon pad because I can't jump on this one. But if you're precise, you can jump on the red side one. I think they should, once again, they should ju just both be available for players to jump on. It's a nice, you know, just added nuance to work with depending on the situation you're trying to stay alive or outplay somebody in a fight or use it as a slide challenge slide rotation all of this area can be slid off of if you're trying to slide off this repulsor spot note that because of the way this ledge is shaped and it's kind of jutting out it can affect your timing a little bit my recommendation would be to walk level with it and then go off on an angle so you get that full boost and the fast fall into the slide rather than the worry of, you know, being propped upwards and having your curb slide just kind of ruined. It is possible to just straight up sprint off and get it, but my my recommendation would be to line yourself up and kind of pop off the edge of it like that, if that makes sense. We'll keep going down the hallway. Just It's just slides everywhere, right? Like anything that you can think of, depending on the situation. You cut yourself off this one, cut down here technically off this corner, this is all snap slide potential. Good for a starting strat. I'm thinking you'd probably want to do the wall lineup version of it, assuming you hit it correctly. And that's the thing is like, I'm wasting my time setting this up if I'm not hitting it. It doesn't have to be a wall lineup. As you can see, you can still get a pretty useful slide. This you can stand on, meaning you can slide off it as well. This is a really good spot to consider, honestly. Just hanging out here and kind of waiting and taking advantage of the slide to jet yourself whatever direction you want to go. It's going to take some precision to get the hang of it. Like for this one, I'm going diagonal off with the left stick. Instead of just straight sprinting, I'm sprinting on a diagonal left to kind of fall off on an angle rather than just go straight forward. It won't hit the slide if I just go straight forward. You can also skill jump your way out of here. This is the only skill jump in the map, I think, honestly, that's like a traditional skill jump. You stand on the shotgun, and then you back off and late jump off of it, and you can clamber the ledge up above, and this would give you a safer approach. Safer approach to this mid section of the map. Well, we're here. We've got this interesting little chute that sends you up to top mid. Pretty cool section of the map, honestly. you got these windows. You can see players as you, you know, kind of jump out and chow out. You know what you're chowing. You got a little window here to uh, be a huge nuisance for anybody down below. If you drop out, I think the only way to get back in is a repulsor or a grapple. I don't think there's any other way to do it. This section of the map is one of my favorite areas to try to hit a rotate. You've got to do it frame perfectly, though. The commando one is easy, I think. You sprint slide off it. You get a fast rotate. You can shoot as you fly by. This one is frame precise as hell. What I'm doing is holding crouch jumping from a crouch position for a low altitude jump, and then I land on the very edge and sprint slide off on the edge. And if you hit it perfectly, you're going to cross the full gap. So technically, if you're super, if you're very technical at this game and precise with your slides, you can do rotations back and forth with consistency and shoot as you fly by. 
whether or not it makes sense, once again, it's all situational. While we're down here, you can crouch jump and land on the little edge of this before you jump up. So skip your clamber if you want to. While you're here, you can jump from a crouch position and keep crouch held, and you can tuck yourself into these areas, all four of them. You can sit inside, and while you're sitting in it, you can kind of like, you know, peek and chow somebody, maybe. I, I don't know. You're pretty exposed, though. You're in the center of the map. Of course, you could pop yourself out and, uh, and maybe get out of a fight this way. By the way, well, it might be useful to use this slide to cross the gap in center. It's probably more useful to just go straight like this. You can just sprint right down the chute, time the slide, and then get a fast rotate straight over to flag. You can also line it up backwards and use it, like apply the, the technique that way where I hold crouch, push my back into the wall, and I use that to keep me in place so that I can pinpoint the edge. The wall's kind of, you know, keeping me level and allowing me to just land on the very edge of it more easily. That basically covers almost everything, I think. You've got more, like, slide options out in the center here. You've got these ramps that you can slide forward off of. Just be careful not to sprint up it and turn off to slide. That won't work. You want to try to go off on, like, a horizontal so that you're, you're at least sprinting straight and you're not sprinting upwards before you curb slide. You want to avoid that. This angled one is nice. Sends you straight through the door. Good little rotate. You'd want to jump and land on the edge of it, and you can use it to either cross the center gap or go straight through the door like I showed, just like that. It's a bunch of slides, right? It's all, it's all situational. You can jump on this as well, skip your clamber to get up to the base if this is the direction you want to go. It's a lot of creative application here. Once you've got this tech down, I recommend you pick up a flag and uh, and find some routes. There's probably a lot of untapped potential as far as, you know, route options on this map. I'm not going to do anything crazy, but I, I could just kind of improvise where I think you might be able to put something together. You could pick it up and toss it out, curb slide, and then toss it out again, hit another one off the corner here. That's a pretty good start, I would say. You might be able to connect... Uh, a shotgun curb slide to the doorway might be unnecessary. You might lose time for that. You could probably do... And once again, it's like you want to make sure that you're throwing this flag far enough when you're setting this up so you can curb slide, snap slide with the flag. Like, there's a connection right there that I think has some potential. So the, the slides that we talked about, try doing all of that stuff with a flag down, right? Because it's all technically possible. You can juggle in between. There might be another connection here as well if you kind of walk this back and toss it and yeah like connect a snap slide out of a curb slide like that so get creative with it if you want to get the fastest possible run you're going to want to grapple for this and as far as how you would use it i was thinking you could toss it out out of a curb slide maybe back up for a second and then go for the typical you know sprint jump grapple rotate but what might be the fastest would be to throw it and grapple at the same time. Kind of like that crazy catalyst strat, which I haven't broken down yet. Probably need to talk about. But I was thinking you'd juggle it, throw it, grapple. And you'd have to... I don't even go for this ever, to be honest. This like type of strategy. You probably want to throw it as far as you possibly can. And then grapple. Yeah, and hold the pickup button and slide. Right as you hit the floor. It'd be nice if there was some way to line up a grapple flag off one of the downward ramps. That would give you an extra boost. Or if you can somehow line up a grapple rotation off the angled ramped surface. I don't know how you'd do it. Something else I was thinking is you could probably juggle it forward and then set up a powerful curb slide out to center like this. And then keep running it. And then I'm thinking like maybe try to time a fast slide off the ramp and then jump toss repulse it. Ooh. No, it works. You could definitely do it, I'm sure. Jump, toss, repulse. Okay, one more try. So risky. Oh, that did... Oh, come on. It's risky, but this might, this might be a way to just get the flag up there and save your own ass, you know? Just get out of there and get the flag to safety. 
And that's all I've got for Argyle. A lot to work on and apply those. So hopefully you can use it to your advantage. Remember, the beauty of this stuff is the risk that comes with the reward. You got to make sure you're practicing, you're centering. You got to make sure you're using this stuff wisely. So maybe shoot some bots, shoot some friends in a custom game before you jump into the actual arena or just go ahead, see what happens. That's the beauty of Halo in the end of the day. What do you guys think of the map? What do you think of detachment? What do you think of the update? Let me know in the comments below and whatever else you want to see. But that's it for this video. If you guys like the content, make sure to like and sub. I'll see you again soon.